What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Today I want to talk about the Blood Merlot. This is going to be unlocked around level 70. You do have to defeat a boss to learn this recipe. However, it's got some really good attributes or at least better attributes than the Blood Potion and that's why this is important. So the Blood Merlot is only going to affect 25 to 50% of the health of your servant and add 3 to 5% misery. Compared to the Blood Flask, which is going to cost 30 to 60% of the health and cause 5 to 20% misery. This does require you to harvest some of the grapes, which you're going to find in the Bright Haven Gardens right here on the map. Now, in order to unlock this recipe, you will need to defeat a level 70 boss for their V Blood and learn this recipe. So, you will have to face off against the Baron, but he is in the same location there at the vineyard. So, it's really easy to get up there, get some grapes, and also engage in this fight. I wouldn't necessarily call this fight very easy and I'll show you some of what goes on in that fight so you have an idea of what you're getting into. But first I want to show you how to get these grapes. So there's multiple ways to get the grapes. First of all, they are growing on these grape vine holders. You can see that. And then there are barrels that have the grapes in them as well. Now it does require a certain amount of time for you to interact with these barrels. Additionally, there are harpies that are going to come down and attack this area when you get close to these barrels. They must want these grapes as well. So they are going to fight you and the other things in the area for these grapes. So be prepared to take on a bunch of different enemies when you come up to this area. But once you have those enemies defeated, you can simply access this barrel to get the grapes out of it. You can see we got 192 out of that barrel. Also on these stick holders, you can see there are vines of sacred grapes that are growing on there. So you can harvest those as well. And there's quite a bit of the vines growing and those barrels around this area. So just explore the area so that you can see all the different spots where you can get these grapes. Now, if you came up here prepared for a fight right here in this location, you can see there's a large house that is on this property. That's where you're going to want to go in to fight the boss. This boss has some interesting different mechanics associated with it. So it's going to make these barrels roll across the screen. You cannot really avoid these barrels. You can get back up on the stairs, but I found that whenever I got back up on the stairs, it would actually disengage this fight. And those barrels hit rather tough. So be ready for a fight. Be ready to counter those barrels when they come in because they do cause a lot of damage when you just take a hit from them. And they cause stun. So they can drain your health bar very, very quickly. So keep that in mind so that you have the attacks that you need when going into this fight. But this is a really good addition for kind of handling and maintaining your prisoners because of the reduced rate of health loss and the reduced rate of misery increase. It's going to allow you to use less resources to keep them in a healthy state to continue to use them for their blood. The Blood Merlot and the Blood Potion both give you the same effect to your character. You don't lose any effects for your character when using the Blood Merlot. So this is just a much better use of the blood that you're taking from that servant. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.